Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today it's time to explore the European Union again. So let's hit play, give ourselves 3 minutes and 30 seconds and we'll see how we do. First location is loading and this looks, I don't know, Dutch maybe to begin with? Let's get out of here and try and explore around. Um, we're clearly in some kind of, yeah, back alley I guess at the moment. Uh, got a sign here. This should just help us with the country, at least to cope. Yeah, that's Dutch, I think, for uh, to rent. So that's good. We've got that right. We just need to get out of the housing estate, really, and try and establish, you know, in which town we are. So trying to get out of here. This looks like the right way. Hopefully. It looks, you know, like a pretty small town, I would say, in the Netherlands. Um, and uh, let's see what that says, Langeveld, Langeveld, okay, not sure what that means exactly. Um, let's see if I, I guess we'll have to go this way. Yeah, and there's a street here with a car on it, so that should help. We should be making progress here. So we're looking for the Hofstraat, that's where we are. And uh, let's just check, you know, left and right what it is we're looking at. That's where we came from. That's another way out. Let's go this way. It does look like the more the more major route, shall we say? So looking now to establish, you know, which town we're in. Otherwise we'll have to go with a hunch. And we're getting to a main road. So that's a bit better. Hoping now for some sign or or any clue really as to the, the nature of the the town. Um, we've got here a bus stop. Let's just see if we can see anything there. And no, we can't. And with a minute and 30 to go, it's uh, amazing how the time flies. The Hofstraat was the name of that town, uh, of the name of the street, sorry. We've got here Blom. Verkir School Blom, so something school, driving school. Maybe that's a driving instructor's vehicle. Um, and this looks like it's a little more central perhaps in this area that we are in. So who knows? At the moment I'm thinking, you know, we could be in sort of South Holland. Um, I don't know why I'm picking South really over anywhere else, but um, just, just has that feel. I don't think we're in a major town like Amsterdam um, or The Hague. Um, so yes, you know, it's just a case of do we get to some significant clues in time or not. Parkline, Gettelsweg, these are all streets, um, which unfortunately sort of won't really, won't really help. We've got here a lovely looking church. In the 30 seconds we've got, let's try and try and explore that. We'll have to put down a pin at some point. And here we go. Here's a more major road. And so we should be able to Breda and uh, I think that that's as far as we're going to get. I don't recognize Breda, B-R-E-D-A. So, oh, going to put down, uh, oh yes, Breda, there it is. We just landed straight on it. Um, we're obviously not there, so I'll just say we're in Rosendahl. Um, oh, and I was, I didn't put the pin down in time. I was going to go with Rosendahl. Um, and I think I clicked about here, but unfortunately it is it, just, just a bit late. Um, that's a little frustrating, but um, we were close. Yeah, you know, correct to identify. Uh, it's sort of a relatively small town, I would say, in the Netherlands. Um, of course, it could have been Tilburg. It could have been any one of these. Complete luck uh, that really we saw Breda to begin with and then just went for Rosendahl because it was nearby. Um, another tenth of a second there, and we might have got extremely close to a, an amazing guess. But uh, anyway, moving on to the next round. Right, we're looking, um, uh, well, north now. Um, what do we have here? We've got the La Rose Salon de Thé restaurant. Um, so that definitely sort of makes me think we're in France. Um, and I wonder if we've had this one before. I think I recognize this. Uh, in fact, I'm certain I do. Is this a train station? I think it is. Gare du Quim... Pair, SNCF. I think we've been landed in this location before, which must be pretty rare on, on GeoGuessr. 
um, and you know, in France, it's um, it's yeah. What do we have here? Garoutier, yeah. Um, although I don't recognize Quim Quimpier, so let me just get that again. Q U I M Quimper, Q U I M P E R. So we'll have to do some exploring just to find out, you know, any other clues. Um, but um, yeah, definitely recognize that Salon de Thé restaurant. Um, so I wonder if we can get to, if this is a roundabout or something, you know, some signs here. We've got the station again. Uh, there are more signs up here. So let's see what those are. Let's see if there's anything here that we can see. So Sal, Omnisports, Omnisports, yeah. So no, no major, hang on, what was on the right of those signs? Um, and we just need to figure out which part of France we're in then, and I'm sure we'll get to it. Um, because I just see here Rue de Brest, that's the street name. I wonder if we're near Brest then in France, which is um, in the northwest. We'll, we'll use that clue if we have to. Uh, it looks like we're at a pretty major town square here, so that's good. Centreville, Tourelle, um, now that doesn't that doesn't help me I don't think um, but we you know the good thing is we're, we're near the cent center of town obviously with the train station in it so uh, let's maybe carry on a little bit um, otherwise we'll go with with Brest and just see if um, this place is nearby here we go yes Brest is nearby let's get in there I think the best thing to do is just to try and look on the map it's somewhere in this region of France we've got 50 seconds so um, uh, here is Brest so that's good and here is Quim I keep saying Quimpier which is ridiculous I know it's not that but uh, Q-U-I-M-P-E-R Quimper maybe um, the middle of town is here uh, but actually, we're looking for the train station, which is here, and um, this might be the Salon de Thé we were we were talking about. Um, so let's. This is definitely the the train station there. We saw it there to the north of us. I'm going to go back to the beginning now, and just see. We need to get the street name for this if we have the time. Um, if not, we see that we're just slightly to the right of the. Um, uh, it's Jean, Jean Pierre is the name of the street. We just saw it there, so I think we're we're pretty spot on. Yes, fantastic. Uh, Fifteen yards away. That is super. We managed to find that just in the nick of time. Right. Well, we're outside the Hotel Panorama. Um, we've got here a Vodafone flag, a EU flag. Um, so you know. Um, Harburg Center, I thought. So this this feels German to me. Um, let's see if there's something on this bus as to where we're off. Rudolf Werberg GmbH. So that's definitely definitely German. Uh, GmbH is like the um, well, I don't really know. Really, it's like sort of in the UK we have like l you know limited companies. I think it's just sort of the name for it's like having limited after the name of the company. You know. Um, not, don't quote me on that. Um, Hotel Panorama. Right, well, we need to get a bit of a move on. So let's go down here and see what there is. We're clearly in sort of a city center somewhere. This is not somewhere too, too remote. Um, does that say f something for Hamburg there? In which case, Ham... Yeah, possibly it does. Possibly it does Hamburg. Um, so that's a good clue to start with. Just need to, I can't seem to click for some reason. Oh, it's gone black. Okay, we're out of that. Um, let's see here. Har Harburg, Harburg, right. So it isn't Hamburg. Um, now Harburg, I don't recognize, but you know, we should be able to find it. We've got a bit of time. So we'll start looking in a second if we have to. It'd be good just to get some indication as to where, where there's a, major city nearby let's say that's signposted just to give us the right region in Germany oh we seem to have swapped streets there so no longer quite sure where I am but we'll keep progressing up here looks to be pretty major uh, just looking around 
to our no I won't go down there that's where we came from let's just try going down here then just just exploring around really trying to get to some some clues you know um, but Harburg is definitely the, the the one we've got I'm just not too familiar with where that is Oh dear, I'm, I'm stuck now. Stuck. Uh, this is a problem. Uh, I'm just going to go back to the beginning and Hotel Panorama. Right, well with 24 seconds to go, let's just get a look in there and see Where's um, Hamburg? Hamburg's up here. And I don't see a Harburg. So with a few seconds to go, I don't know. We'll just go with a guess. Um, oh, okay. Well, this is, this is extremely lucky. So was it, hang on, Harburg. There we go. Yes. There is a there is a town called Harburg. I say a town because it's clearly you know the the sort of the major city of Hamburg is is pretty nearby, and this isn't part of it. So it is sort of, or at least it doesn't look like it. So it is a bit of a. Uh, uh, I mean, th this is pure luck because you know I had no idea that Harburg was a let's call it you know a, a suburb of Hamburg. Maybe it looks like it sort of falls within the city bounds, doesn't it? Um, I went for the middle of Hamburg just because, you know, to, had to put down a pin somewhere and ended up remarkably lucky there. I've never heard of Harburg and, you know, I wasn't about to, I wasn't going to, I was very unlikely to find that because it was kind of a small, small clue there and we didn't see it um, anywhere else. So, so that was lucky. Um, pure, pure luck, no skill. <laughs> but sometimes you need a bit of that, don't you? So that's, that's good. Uh, right, this is interesting. We've got this little sort of uh, river down to our right. Uh, the sun in the south. As for the kind of architecture here and the plants, you know, I'm not not quite so sure. It, it could be, it could be anywhere really. I mean, it could be. It doesn't feel like sort of um, Jadawa. So that DJ, you know, makes me always think of. Um, of Croatia, so so I was going to say yeah, it doesn't remind me of uh, sort of uh, you know the Scandinavian nations. This makes me think of sort of more southern Europe, but it isn't sort of totally Mediterranean either. So so perhaps that that neck of the woods with Croatia, you know, makes a bit of sense. Um, fewer clues here, you know, to come across. It feels like a much smaller town that we're in. So we'll go with some geography um, instead to, to try and nail this. We see in the distance to the north some pretty substantial hills. Um, so we'll use that when we when we place a bet. And currently that bet is going to be in Croatia. Um, you know, not on the coast, but sort of more inland, maybe to the north, border with Slovenia. That's where I'm thinking at the moment. Um, could be could be Hungary. You know, could be anywhere else really. I, it, it, as for Croatia, I mean, we're just going because that of the DJ. We, we, you see, this sounds more Polish to me now. Freysia. Jazanska. Not sure if I said that right. I wonder if on the buses here, there's a, you know, a... Um, Krajowy. Yeah, this is definitely feels more Polish now all of a sudden. So uh, perhaps we'll revise everything I just said. Krajowy. And Zagrinski. So is that is that Krakow? Because it kind of looks like Krakow. Um, and I wonder if that's the sort of Polish spelling of the of the city of Krakow. I w and I wonder if we can see a, a city like this one, Z Zag Zagrinski. Who knows? Um, this might be the the best clue we get. What was on this van? There was something on this van. I 
think it's the same. Krajawi. Hmm. And I don't know. Zagraz. This this could be anywhere. I'm no longer sure as to where. We could be in sort of Hungary as well, as well as, I mean, I'll just list all the countries and eventually I'll get one right, won't I? So um, it's easy to say, uh, but I am feel like that is sort of Krakow. And my, my hunch here is that that word Krajawi is like Krakow in in, in Polish. Um, I have no idea if that's right, you know, no idea at all. I suspect it's not. I wonder if it's maybe just worth quickly checking out Kro Croatia. Oh, no, and we were on the right lines. Okay, so fair enough. We were in Poland. Glad I changed my bet there from Croatia to Poland. Um, but we were not in the right place in Poland. We were in a town called Klods Klodzko. Klodzko, and I wonder, you know, where, where that other town that began with that began with a Z was. I, I'm not sure. Don't, don't, you know, don't see it. Jaborski, maybe it was that one. Not sure. Um, but anyway, you know, close enough, I suppose, by European standards. Not a, not a, not a bad guess, but it was certainly a guess. Now this is interesting. Again, look at this rolling landscape here. This reminds me of Spain, also Croatia again. Um, you know, with this kind of light, light orange dirt and the white houses. Um, I mean, just looks beautiful. Uh, we're coming into a town, so hopefully, you know, there'll be some clues here, but it does look like a small town. Uh, so anything like a flag would be good. There's a boat here, so clearly, well, possibly we're near the coast or some kind of lake. Round five of five. Let's see. Let's see how well we can do here, because we've done okay so far. Yes. Oh, and we are by the coast. In fact, we're 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 definitely by the coast. So look at this. This is just lovely. This definitely has a Croatian feel to it again. So I'm I'm stuck on Croatia at the moment. Um, not sure where though. You know, lots of islands off the coast there uh, in Croatia. <sighs> This is almost certainly one of those. Just has that feel to it. This architecture, this um, this kind of uh, waterfront here. We've got a flag. Yes, we've got a flag. That will help. Oh, and the flag's been taken down. Oh no, it isn't. It's there. Right. Yes, this is the Croatian flag. So that's that's fantastic. And in fact, this looks like the sort of port authority. Student. Oh no, it's a supermarket. I'm making up complete nonsense. So. That is not right. Well, we need to start working this out a little bit. So let's get our geography right. Let's face north. And we can see here that the island is off to our to our west and the coast to the east. So we are sort of on the eastern side there of an... And I say island. I, I do think that this is an island. Um, one of these ones here. So the island is off to our west. Oh, come on, stop zooming. I have to wait for my browser to catch up a little bit. Zooming out. Come on. So that puts us sort of on the eastern seaboard here of of these um, of these islands, and we're unlikely to get this one spot on really. But I think we're going to be on the eastern edge of one of these islands. It's just a question of which one, and it's it's going to be hard to find. I might just go back to the beginning actually. Uh, because this will help with the geography. Um, so we can see to the north, lots of hills. And we came down, we're coming into the east. And we quite quickly descended into the sea. So the sea is here and the port is actually off to, off to the east. Yeah, that's right, off to the east. And it looks like the south as well. So I'm going to put us on the sort of southeastern edge there of, of one of these major islands. So maybe we're in here, for example. Uh, you know, this sort of fits the bill that we could be in, could be in this town coming in here. That's as good as guess as any, I think, at the moment. Um, but it's 
it's probably not right. I, I think the logic is there, but the the solution isn't isn't quite right. But look, yeah, we were very close there. So actually, we were in uh, on the island of Favar, and we were coming into Verbozka. Verbozka. So um, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I'm I'm quite happy with that gas actually. We found the flag which helped nail the country, but we knew it already, and I think we got we got pretty close there. So few summary. Game finished. Well done. Twenty two. 199 points in total on the whole i'm very happy with that we did well in france we did uh, remarkably well in the netherlands by pure luck same in germany so lots of luck this round uh poland was a good guess and and so was croatia so on the whole uh, really happy with that one thank you very much for watching do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you in the next video